as a little girl, I never knew that I was going to be standing before such very honorable people to be given this testimony today. But God made it all possible. My mom is here, and I thank God for her life. Thank you very much, Mommy. And my sister, thank you. But I think that I'm living the life that my father dreamt for me. When I was a young girl, for some reason that I can never explain, I was given to my maternal grandparents who were not very well to do. They lived in abject poverty and I lived with them. But that made me who I am today. My siblings, my mom and my dad, because my dad was a civil engineer and a graduate that lived in a bungalow in a very good elitist neighborhood in Terma. And my siblings drove in cars to school. And I lived with my maternal grandparents. We all lived in one room. We didn't have a place of convenience. We needed to go look for a place of convenience every morning. And every morning, I had to go hawking with one thing or the other before I went to school. I walked to school every morning about seven miles. But in those formative days of my life, I experienced love like never before. It was the joyous days of my life. And I remember my father would normally come and visit me. And I, I learned to read very early because my father was very educogenic. And by class four, he was giving me books like Amazing Results of Positive Thinking and Positive Thinking by Vincent Norman Peale. And I was reading those books. I believe that so the seed in me. It created something in me. He made me understand, and my grandfather, who was so fond of me, made me understand that there was something special in me. There was a potential in me that waited to be unleashed. But it took two things. It took the fear of God, and it took hard work, and it also took discipline. Indeed, I lived by those values.